So I've been away for a bit, and in that time, a lot of things happened. The Xbox Game Showcase happened a couple months ago, and it opened up with Fable. Wow. Fable. Fable's kind of what got me into the Xbox ecosystem back in the Peter Molyneux days of overpromising and marketing jargon, but you know what? It worked. It got me in this ecosystem, and it's been fun. I'm hyped for the new one that's coming out. Not that it's going to make any difference, but these are things I'd like to see in the Fable reboot. Here we go. Number one, one of the things that Playground Games does best is a uh, dynamic weather system. So we already saw in the most recent trailer, the game has beautiful lighting, fantastic graphics all around. What would really make take the game to the next level is a dynamic lighting system and we see everything that they do with the weather in the forza horizon series and all the progress that they made there hopefully they could use some of the tech and some of the things they learned over the years and incorporate it into fable because i think that's a game that could really benefit from having a system like that in place the next thing i would love to have is more ability to customize your house so you played the original fable games you know that you could own property and multiple properties at least i think you could but i'd love to see them take that a step further so not only can you acquire prop in the game but i'd love for you to be able to change the look of your your house you got bethesda in house they, they know a thing or two about customization from starfield's launch so just ping those guys they'll they'll help you out but just ways to make your character and your house and stuff that you have in the game uniquely yours when you beat a boss in the original games you'd get a, a trophy uh, that you could show off your big kills and all that kind of stuff the giant from the from the trailer that would be really cool i would love to see the game expand on the open world the original Original games were open world but more on rails i'm not looking for a game that has a huge world that you could explore like red dead redemption but just something that has a little bit more exploration which leads me to the next point and that's mountains if you're gonna have a bigger open world you gotta have a way to get around why not allow the character to have a horse or some other fantastical mount to get them from point a to point b even flying would be pretty cool customize your horse's armor and not charge an arm and a leg for it that would be i like to tinker <laughs> what could i I say more non-linear quests again this is something that could just grow on the world and the npcs and the characters around you but just allow you to go off and do your own thing and go on your own journeys separate from the main quest or a little bit more out of the way again doesn't need to be like elden ring levels of lore but i'd love to see do stuff for more of the side characters and see some of their stories along the way this next one is something that i could take it or leave it magic crafting i usually don't play as a magic character melee up in the action and get myself killed on repeat but it's how i play so <laughs> I might use magic a little bit more if you got to create your own spells and mix and match system or some kind of crafting the, that you could learn throughout the game to make your character a little bit more uniquely yours in your playthrough. So a way to mix and match some spells and yeah, again, I probably won't use it, but be cool. Be nice to see. I'd love to see a rivalry or even an alliance system come into place. Fable's known for having other heroes in this world that you live in and to populate this world. You're going and you're moving into people's houses and forming and relationships and it's always been a big part of the, the fable games is the relationship aspect so i'd love to see them expand upon that have you build friendships alliances not necessarily companions but i think it could work but just have some kind of relationship level introduced into the game and rivalry system which would be cool a race to take down a big baddie in the game or steal somebody's wife or husband in the game and you don't like it very much and that forms a bit of a rivalry there's a lot that they could do with it and i, I think yeah i think that's something they could work with and last this is something that was initially promised with by Peter Molyneux before the original Fable came out, that you would be able to have an acorn fall from a tree or be able to plant an acorn. As your character got older and aged, you would be able to watch that acorn grow into an oak tree over the years of the game progressing. Never made the cut or any of the sequels just for us fans that have been there from since day one. Just let us, let us plant an acorn and let us just watch it grow. That's all I ask. It's not much, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. It's good to be back. I'm Mike, the Motorcycle Nerd, and I am going to drop a link to the Fable fan club in the, uh, in the description. So come check it out. See you next time. Peace.